Hey, welcome to the Couch GM. Breaking news, Jerry Depoto and the Seattle Mariners just completed a trade with the Cincinnati Reds. The Mariners will be getting starting pitcher Luis Castillo from the Reds, and the Reds will be getting minor league prospects Noelvi Marte, Edwin Arroyo, Levi Stout, and Andrew Moore from the Seattle Mariners. Noelvi Marte is currently ranked as the 17th overall prospect on MLB.com. Edwin Arroyo is ranked as the number 92 overall prospect. And then Levi Stout and Andrew Moore are both outside of the top 100 prospects in baseball. This is a big win for both sides, in my opinion. The Mariners get potentially the top starting pitcher available on the trade market this year. And the Reds get a few of the Seattle Mariners' top prospects to help beef up their farm system. You have to give in order to get. And the Mariners gave up their top prospect in Noel V. Marte, who so far this year in high A is hitting 275 with 15 home runs. 19 doubles, 55 RBIs, and 13 steals. And although he's come up as a shortstop prospect, the scouting reports are now showing him around 6'3", 200. And at just 20 years old, he will continue to grow into his body. And it seems that long term, he may be more of a third base prospect. Here's a video floating around comparing his swing to Manny Machado. And this may be a comp we see more often as he continues to gain more size and power. And as a Mariners fan, I was excited to see what he could do in Seattle. So the Reds got a good one in Marte, who now becomes their number one overall prospect. Shortstop Edwin Arroyo was acquired last year by the Seattle Mariners in the second round of the MLB draft. And as an 18-year-old this year in low A has been hitting 315 with 18 doubles, 7 triples, 13 home runs, 21 stolen bases, and playing solid defense. He's scouted to be a plus defender at shortstop with a plus arm, and with above average speed should be a threat on the base path. Some scouts were saying that Arroyo would overtake Marte as the Mariners' number one prospect this year, but as the rankings currently stand, he did not make that jump above Marte, and he'll slot in as the Reds' number six overall prospect. Right-handed pitcher Levi Stout will become the Reds' number 15 overall prospect. He was drafted in the third round in 2019, and with a four-pitch mix, he was originally scouted as a starter, and although still as a starter in AA, there's rumors that he may be switched to relief at some point. So we'll see if the Reds decide to keep him as a starter or if they transition him to the bullpen to potentially get him to the bigs a little quicker. And the final piece heading to the Reds is Andrew Moore, who is almost a 23-year-old in single A who is a right-handed relief pitcher. Based on the write-ups, it seems he may have been a throw-in for this deal, and we'll see how he progresses through the minors. And now, for the focal point of this trade, the Mariners acquired two-time All-Star right-handed pitcher Luis Castillo, who so far this year through 85 innings pitched is holding a 2.86 ERA with a 1.071 whip, a 9.5 K per 9. And so far this year, outside of Great American Ballpark, which is where the Reds play their home games, Luis is holding a 2.09 ERA and a 2.75 FIP. Also worth noting, in going from Cincinnati to Seattle, he's moving from one of the most hitter-friendly ballparks in the league to one of the most pitcher-friendly parks in the league. Castillo has a true four-pitch mix with a four-seam, a sinker, a changeup, and a slider. And so far this year, he's really mixed up his pitches. He used his four-seam 32% of the time, his sinker 21% of the time, changeup 25%, and slider 21%. And this is rather unlike the other pitchers in the Mariners rotation, as Robbie Ray mainly relies on his fastball and slider. Same thing with Logan Gilbert, mainly his fastball and slider. Marco Maley is fastball and changeup. Flexen, his fastball and his cutter. And Kirby also with his four seam and slider. We've heard that Robbie Ray taught George Kirby how to throw a two seamer recently, so I'm curious once Castillo gets into the clubhouse, how he'll rub off on the other guys in that rotation and help everyone perform to their max potential. And speaking of the rotation moving forward, Scott and Jerry will have some tough decisions to make, as there's clearly going to be an innings limit on George Kirby this year. So does that mean you roll with a six-man rotation? Do you send one of Marco or Chris Flexen down to the AAA? Or do you go ahead and trade one of Marco and Flexen? Needless to say, this is a great problem to have, and Mariner fans can sleep well tonight knowing that Jerry is on board and putting the team in a spot for a playoff push. Castillo is under contract through the end of the 2023 season, so the Mariners will have him for potentially two playoff pushes, and fingers crossed they can get him signed to an extension at some point this offseason. Let me know your thoughts on this trade in the comments below, and where do you think the Mariners' rotation stacks up now as tops in the league? Is it a top 10 rotation? Top 5? Thank you for watching, and if you like this content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, give it a share, and we'll see you next time.
All right, guys, goodbye zone, and don't forget it. Stop it.